You're tuned into the Trap House Rocks show. Miss LB Management. Blackstera. Eventlevel.com promoting indie. Indie Republic. We are indie. Trap House Rocks. Exclusive. Make my mom unhappy, make his ass bleed. On the real, make him feel the steel. Long as she happy, he got his life. Won't be no strife. And I hope his ass hit me too, nigga. I hear you. DJ Reese. You know the problem with you little niggas? You think you know everything about the damn world. Yeah. And you don't know shit. I see you got yourself a little business going. Well, that's good. That's good. You make that paper. But when you're making paper, you got to learn some rules to go with it. You got to learn the difference between guns and butter. There are two type of niggas in this world. They're niggas with guns and niggas with butter. Now, what are the guns? The guns, that's the real estate. The stocks and pumps. Artwork, you know, shit that appreciates with value. Yeah. What's the button? Cars, clothes, jewelry, all that other bullshit that don't mean shit after you buy it. That's what it's all about. Guns and butter, baby. Little dumb motherfuckers. It's the I'm a checker bag, checker bag. 79th Street Thrillers. I'm a checker bag, checker bag. Bang, checker. I'm a checker bag, checker bag. I'm a checker bag, checker bag. I'm a checker bag, checker bag. Drove down, smoking gas, gas. Top down, I'm finna blast, finna blast, blast. Finna blast, finna blast. 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 Finna
Uh, I know, let's just let the people know, um, tell us what part of Chicago you're from, what have you been doing the last couple years in this music, and, and then we'll talk about that video that we just watched. Well, you know me, Mr. All I Want Is Motherfucking Money, AKA, Butter The Motherfucking Great, Southside, Chirac, Inglewood District, 007. You already know how this shit go, Miss LB. Squad. <laughs> now, the video that we just watched is the the video, the latest video that's out right now. And we're going to talk about what all you're working on because you've got so much in the works right now as far as videos. But tell us about that checker bag video. Man, you, you already know that checker bag. It was produced by my boy Master T, you know, a good brother. And I just love that, you know what I'm saying? Just the whole feeling of anything that got to do with some motherfucking money. I it's just like- All I want is money. Yeah, I, I love the money music. You know, I ain't into the bang, bang, shoot, shoot, boom, 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 but don't get this shit twisted. Cause it will happen. It's it's rough out there, you know, where you live. First of all, let's, let's talk about that first before we get into uh, what you're working on now. In Chicago, I mean, we see Chicago on the news every day. In your opinion, what do you think it would take to stop the gun violence in Chicago? Or is it possible? It's, they done fucked all that up already. You know, it's it's fucked up in Chicago. They didn't, you know, as far as all the, all the gang shit, they done locked up a lot of powerful people. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of corrupt and it's kind of fucked up right now. So, so now all the young kids, they doing whatever they want to do. Ain't no... It's all, it's just real fucked up up here right now. Ain't no guidance right now. There used to be leaders and shit around here. They didn't lock, the, lock motherfuckers up 20, 30 years, giving motherfuckers life and all kind of crazy shit. Just like Larry Hoover said, by the, by the year 2016, it's gonna be real fucked up. And that's how it is, that's how it is right now. Now, I know the latest mixtape you put out was Mr. All I Want Is Money. Um, that was incredible. I know it did a lot of numbers. You know, you're one of those artists who you can Google this guy and go see what he has out there. You have tons of fans. I mean, it's just incredible the movement that you have. Man, I was just trying to put my team together right now. I'm trying to put everything around me. My my my, my promotional team. You know, far as far as my promotional team, far as my PR, far as everything I need. I want to put it all in my family. I don't want to use nobody for nothing. And, like and, I got enough people and I got enough family around me to do everything that these other people that think they gonna do for me think they finna give me out any kind of money. So I just got a family around me right now. And that's FCF. Uh, tell the people what FCF stands for and I got a little piece of information to give you about FCF. FCF stands for, I already know, you already know what this shit stands for, family come first. Miss LB, that's the movement too. Miss hey. LB management, you already know how this shit go. Yes, sir. Now, the piece of information that I want to give you about FCF is, you know, I've been down with you for a while. You know, it's it's going to be two years in September, and I believe that my next tattoo will be FCF. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, you know, if you ain't fucking with the family, and you know, if, you ain't, if, if it ain't about your family, then you really ain't out here, you really ain't on nothing. If you're out here on, on some for self shit, then you might as well just put for self on your shit. If you with taking care of your family, if you believe in taking care of your grandkids, your daughter, your son, your grandmamas, your mamas, and make a thing possible for the people, for for the, for, for your family and, and the people as around the people around you every day, which is your family too, and then that's that's what it got to be about. It's all about the family. Family come first. FCF. I'm hoping that I can take a camera with me and maybe film myself getting the FCF tattoo since we're all on video oh, now, shit. you know? <laughs> oh, shit. I will be posting that up. Don't stay tuned because I'm going to get that as uh, soon as, you know, I've been asking Butter to send me a picture of his so I can get one like his, but he hasn't done that yet. So we'll have to get on him <laughs> to send me that tattoo picture. He's like, LB, I'm in the studio. I ain't got time to send you a picture. Um, now, I do have a few clips. Okay, I have a few clips of some videos that you are current have currently shot or you know you, that you haven't released yet um let's give the people it's on produced by zaytoven let's give them a little clip of what they're going to expect from that video as soon as cyber's ready he can pull up the it's on uh video clip yeah you know what i stand fishing i got a whole lot of heat what kind of car was that in the in the video you already know. You can see it. You see it. Tell the people, but they might not know. Hey, hey, look it up. Once you see that motherfucker, you should know what it is. If you don't, Google it. 
Let's watch the It's On clip, Cyber. Now, but uh, you know, on that note, uh, with Zaytoven producing that, that's the next topic that I want to get on because you're working with not only him but a lot of producers. Uh, London on the track. Uh, oh man, I guess almost two, two or three of the hottest producers, man. I, you know, I, I, these these are the people that I've been wanting to mess with for a long time. So I guess I had to really work my way up to that. Right. You know, I, I, this is something that I dream about. This is something that I really wanted. And this thing like right now, like almost all my dreams is coming true right now. Slowly but sure. And they will. Um, you know, I call rappers who won't venture out there and get the best beats and work with some known people. You know, because I don't think you necessarily have to have them, but it sure does look good when you do. Um, and, and those producers are really fucking with you. You know, it's like, yeah, they're, you know? And that's how I looked at it when you were with London on the track. You know, it's like, he fucks with you. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. I call, I call the ones who don't get anything, you know, I call them SoundCloud rappers. <laughs> you know, that's what they are. And, and I and I get hell from that all the time because I'll be on Facebook like, y'all, some, y'all SoundCloud rappers, stop. Just stop rapping. <laughs> stop rapping, you don't have what it takes. Obviously, the people can see your internet presence and, and your songs and videos that are out there now that you do have what it takes. Man, it, but it all, it's, 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 it's not just me doing all this, though. I got a team behind me, you know, who helped me with all these things. So you, you, you got to build your team and you got to have your dream and you just got to be ready for it. You just got to go get it. Now, go get it. the people, you know, you do have a website out there, buttertogreat.com. And uh, you, of course, you can look him up anywhere at Butter the Great. But uh, the website's right there. You see the website. Uh, <clears throat> all of his music is there. Videos, bio, everything that you need from Butter the Great is there. Um, they update that periodically. And I know when you drop the next video, let, let's just. I, nothing I don't know. rented. Nothing rented. Nothing rented. All you see is all mine. Ain't nothing rented either. I ain't went to nowhere and told. Let me see this for an hour. None of that shit. You know, a lot of people wonder stuff like that when they see somebody like you because they're like, they're mad. They're mad. <laughs> they go, I'm on my way. <laughs> they're so mad at you. That's a good thing, you know? Um, now, I know that this summer you will be featured in the XXL freshman class issue of the magazine, so that's going to be big for you uh, to yes. be in there this summer. You've, you've got so much going on. Now, tell me... We have another clip, and you looked very hot in this clip. And I mean hot. <laughs> now, I don't mean like he looked good. What you he mean looked, like sweaty hot? You look sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hot like, oh, that nigga think he's a shit. No, he not like shit. that. Let's show the clip of how hot he was. I'm going to let you know if I was hot or not. What video is that? Let the people know. That's the video, man, from Chicago. I already went, went, for one, when people say H-E-N-I-C, when I be like, man, what you think H-E-N-I-C mean? Like, for instance, you know, I'll be asking people, like, what you think H-E-N-I-C mean? And that motherfucker be like, shit, hottest head nigga in charge. Right. No, not that one. You see the uh, that one there. Right there, yeah. That one that stands for hottest nigga in Chicago. So that is the song that goes with that video with the fire. That's the video coming out, and yes, I was really hot. I was really. I was, that was some real SLB. That was some real fucking fire. That Did that was no bullshit. That's why I texted you and was like, "Yo, like." I'm I almost burned my hurt. motherfucking MCM bag up. My friend had to grab me and tell me I was smoking. He said, boy, you better get from right there right now. And I only was right there for like 15 seconds. That shit was hot than a motherfucker. But what advice would you give for these artists who are just starting out? The only thing I can really tell them right now, whatever you want, you know, it, 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 it just ain't going to sit there and come to you. You know, you can sit there, you can rap all day, you can sit there in the house and rap all day, but you got to move around. You got to make some moves to try to make things possible for you. You know, teamwork make the dream work. If you ain't networking, you ain't working. You know, believe in yourself. If you if you believe you can achieve, 
right. you know set some goals you know have some have some morals you know set some things set some goals about yourself like from from here to, to from, from here to now this is what i want to do from here to here that's what i want to do once you want to accomplish some a cop accomplish them all or one by one and you take your time things gonna come out good for you and one more thing you got to pray you got to pray pray you know for, if you want it pray on it and you got to go for it now i have a couple more topics before you get up out of here um but it's a great you know being in your position there's a lot of groupies and a lot of you know i mean it's like in your case it's kind of like ridiculous amounts <laughs> my nigga is just called a body huh <laughs> <laughs> Let me vent right quick. Um, tell me how you deal with that, with the kind of like almost like a stalker groupy type of. How, how do you deal with that? Because I'll just go ahead and say it. Now, I probably shouldn't <laughs> say this, but I I had to go in his Instagram one day and a big black pussy just popped up right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, butter, you know, and Man. I'm like. I didn't see that. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I mean, no, seriously, that was that was just a joke. Get it back up. That ain't no money. That's not money. No, he don't. He don't send me no picture. That send me that money. Right, and that's that was my point there. You're real, a real serious artist, so I guess it's more easy for you to handle it because you don't entertain it. Yeah. But I've got a clip. You know, there's a new thing in Chicago, and it's butter blunts. Chico sticks. No, I don't. That, butter blunts and Chico sticks or whatever you're calling them is not the right word for them because look, <laughs> we've got a clip of the finished product. But you know, before we show that, tell the people. Well, let's go ahead and watch it. I guess let's watch the clip first, and then we'll talk about how you make these. <laughs> let's watch the butter blunts clip. And when I tell you they taste good, it tastes good. When I tell you it smells good, it smells. Good. Study rolling eight, nine, ten blunts a day. For what? Long and strong. Hey man, I, that was that was Long a good strong, baby. statement for some of the good ladies I had. Got to say something. It looks long and probably more than likely it is strong. <laughs> Tell us what you put in this. Tell us the whole, you know, how you get that right there. Because I'm, yeah. I'm not messing with you. First, we was rolling them, 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 them butter blunts. You okay. know what I'm saying? So we, we, first, I put the, put my wax in there. You just rub? Throw, yeah, just rub my wax in the inside of the blunt. Once I break it down, just throw me a little, rub me a little perp in there. Just throw a little perp in there. And I throw my weed in there. Once I throw the weed in there. I'm rolling it up. How about weed for one of those big ones? Just tell the truth now. Oh, no, nah, we just talking about the blunt right now. Unless you want to talk about the raw. That was about 20 grams right there. The big, the big one. That was, that's 20. Okay, so you're telling me you started off with the butter blunt. So finish that, the butter blunt, yeah. and then we'll the big one. And then my, well, you know, we start off with the butter blunts. And then I put the little lean in there, throw the weed in there. How do you get lean in it? You just pour it? Oh. Yeah, I just did my finger in there. I just dip my finger in my, in, in my big old, you know, in my bottle, man. Right? Dip it in there. Don't try this shit with no green. Don't try it with no red. Don't try it with no yellow. You got to do this shit with some purple. That's the only way you can get the best. That's the only way you get the best taste out of this shit. So you tap it with the purple with your finger. You wipe it. Throw the weed in there. You wrap it. Throw some more purple on the outside. And then you... Shake you up some weed, then you roll the weed. I thought it so, was maybe Keith at first nah, when I saw it on the outside. No, nah, then I got my little shake because you know some of the weed turned to shake at the bottom. So instead of me just putting it all in my blunt and fucking my blunt up, I just put it on the outside. So that was a, just a regular amount. Now when you get do the big one, like in the videos we just watched, that's how many grams? That's twenty. And how many people hit that big one? Like all y'all are just twenty. You, or twenty you, no. Oh, 20 no wax though no wax on it no wax on it so the big one is just 20 grams and how do you get it to stick to the outside the perp 
Oh, okay. So no wax on that one. Why no okay. wax on that one? Because it's too much, too big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's, yeah it's too big. And it's, like you say, it's too much. In reality, that's too big for me. <laughs> it's too big for, you know, I, I told you, I'm not smoking with you. Because you'll have to be like having a heart attack or something. Um, <laughs> might fall out in the stupid. It went crazy. Like, as soon as I posted that, it went so stupid on the roofs. I said, God damn. See, I see there's a lot of weed smoke. It's 420 on the way, goddammit. That's right. Now, but it's a great, you know, I have a money question for you. And it's not that hard. I'm not going to do you like I used to. Mr. All I Want is Money. That's my name. So, 20 million, is that enough for you to do something? 20 million to do something for you? You got to change your stage name to Butter the Grape. So 20 million. Great. Butter the Grape. Butter the Grape. Great. I don't know. That's just sounding a little fruity, Miss LB. I know. So you're going to change your name for 20 million to butter the grape. How long I got to change it for? Grape could kind of mean like purple or. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how long? <laughs> oh, yeah. But how long I got to be for? One Forever. day? Forever. Butter the grape. I'll be butter the grape to you for 20 million, but my fans still don't know me. Maybe right. I should have made it harder. <laughs> Maybe I should have made it harder. Fifty million dollars, butter. You ready? Two hundred shows you're gonna do this in the next year, live shows all across the country. When you first come out on stage and you start your first song, you have to rock out with your cock out. Does that make sense to you? Damn. You gotta let your shit hang out of your pants like the first <laughs> <laughs> like the first part of the song. And every Damn. show they're gonna be like, dude, this man's crazy, man. I ain't uh, fucking with you. You gonna have dudes man. in the crowd trying to shoot you. <laughs> man, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be fighting be a breakout. <laughs> Niggas gonna be mad at girls gonna be running up, all kind of shit. No, I ain't trying to kill myself, Mr. LBO, that little money. I just had to miss a few for a minute. <laughs> now, um, now, I know that you get a lot of uh, FM radio play. I know Zenith Star be killing it up there in Jersey on the station and lots of man, other stations. Shout out to Zenith, man. I can't do nothing else, man. I just want to make sure I shout them out. Shout out some Brock's of the stations the that the are playing on now. Man, shout out Power 92, man. Shout out 107.5, man. Shout out Trap House Radio, man. Shout out If Guys and Radio. You know, I got a lot more. I just can't get out to them, but shout out to everybody who rocking with LCF, the whole family come first music group, man. You know what I'm saying? Squad in the middle. Now, with you working on all these new videos and new songs and everything, is that going to be on a project or... Mixtape, I'm I'm the kids whipping it up right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. I got these, I got this, I got this London on the track, and I got these they told us. So I'm, I'm really feeling. You got a new track with OJ Juice, yeah. man, don't you? <laughs> and I got some with my boy OJ Juice, man. I went for Gucci to get out. I got Cuzzo for. I got Texas boy, man. Yeah. I'm, you know, we. I, I got a lot of. I got Katie got bands from Chicago. I got King Louis. You know, I got a lot of good shit going on you right now. Great so video just, out there with Cap. Uh, all you know, all I want is money. You no, know sense. So I just. Been just, I've been working. I got a lot. I got a lot of food in the kitchen, though, baby. I Listen, I'm it. I'm ready for you to give them, give it to them. <laughs> Man, I just want to give it to them. It kills me because you know I want to leak stuff and I want to for people to see what I see. So right. it's hard to hold on to things, but I'm patient. Yeah, got my patience right here for you. <laughs> and that's why the patience is everything. Yes. But we can't stop though, so you know we still out here. You know, shout out to Miss LP, man. Shout out to everybody who been rocking with the movement. Well, everybody who fucking with me, man. I appreciate the love, man. And you already know how we do it, man. FCF squad in the building, man. Miss LB management, man. Now, but I know you just shouted out a couple people, but um, I want to let them hear a record that's out there. You, you know, you can, like I said, Google Better the Great if you want to purchase his music, iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, the CD Baby. It's everywhere. Uh, Google Play, anywhere that you can buy music online. All his songs are out there. Um, I do want to play a track while we're leaving. Uh, Hottest Nigga in Chicago, you know, that's your, gonna be your signature track, seems like to me. Man, I just want to shout out, man, to all my producers, man. Whoever sat down, man, and never tried to make a music or any motherfucking kind of beat with me. 
Shout out to any motherfucking every radio station man who was rocking with me, man. Shout out to my motherfucking squad. Shout out to Mr. LB Management, man. I shouldn't have to motherfucking say no more. I shouldn't have to say too many names. Y'all already know who the fuck y'all is, man. FCF. H N I C. Hottest in Chicago. Great Chicago. Um, we're gonna get up out of here now. Let's let the people hear that H N I C. Hottest in Chicago. Trap what? Dream last night, it was all about some money. Oh, only thing on my mind is the fucking money. Nigga got his hand out, I don't owe you nothing. Let my watch talk fuck, my whips talk fuck, this work talk fuck, my bitch talk fuck, my chips talk fuck, my niggas talk fuck, these diamonds talk fuck, my lawyers talk fuck, ain't aiming on top levels, got the gang so. Y'all niggas funny, funny. Wayne and I suppose. I suppose Me and my niggas eat, we, eat. we kicking down dough down I'm talking real king shit king. Me and my niggas eat dolo Hottest nigga in Chicago A kicking nigga like I'm Rondo Training niggas like Alonzo Me, mine, need it pronto Hottest nigga in Chicago A kicking nigga like I'm Rondo Training niggas like Alonzo Me, mine, need it pronto Nigga phone went dead Homie calling for some bread Pussy nigga caught him hating on me Heard him talking to the fed Now I gotta feed him lead Two shots in his leg Pussy nigga ain't wanna pay my money Now ain't walking like a dummy Mister, all I want is money Now this bitch is walking funny Funny nigga, couple chickens Try to run off with my money If I call my niggas up They coming with the business At your front door nigga Like a Jehovah Witness Hottest nigga in Chicago A kicking nigga like I'm Rondo Training niggas like Alonzo Need mine, need it pronto Hottest nigga in Chicago A kicking nigga like I'm Rondo Training niggas like Alonzo Need mine, need it pronto